I am scared of remarrying. This is coming from Sean George. She said she is an only child and all her life she has always defended herself. She said, and I quote, so right now, little things that seem like a threat to me, I could possibly overreact. It might have to take someone who truly sees me as a sister for anything um, marriage to happen again. I'm just scared. Let me carry my cartons of trouble and maintain my lane. End of quote. I think I agree with her. I mean, she's done it how many times? Three, Three times. times. And um, if she feels like she's done and she cannot handle it anymore, or she's not meeting the right people that would understand her for who she is, then, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay for her to say, I'm done with marriage. Yeah. You know, Sean, Sean George is actually a friend and a big sister of mine. Mm -hmm. um, I only respect her view on her opinion. She stated what it is. Now, I'm going to say this right. The, the, the marriage, the marriage um, psychologist, did say if you marry the first time and it ends, there's a likelihood the second time you get into it, it won't last as the first. Mm -hmm. And if you marry the third time, it's also not going to last as the second. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they made it seem, you know what, that the possibilities for the first one to work. So whatever made the first one to work, the second, third, and fourth might not work. But that's just a um, theory. Because yeah, we've seen theory. someone who left Statistics. the first one now, and I'm, the second one say came forever. This is it. This is it, mm -hmm. this is it again. Place. I mean, it's a theory and, and there are stats to back it up, but it's not that there are always exceptions. Mm. So she has all... I, what I said from my, from my mm. statement, it, there's a whole lot of personal fear. Mm -hmm. you know, and so not until she's able to conquer that, even when she meets someone who truly were embraced and accepted genuinely she has personal affairs she needs to personally deal with. And that's what everybody should realize, that um, marriage is not two halves coming to make a whole. Marriage is actually two whole coming to live their life together. So if there are personal baggages you're dealing with, getting into marriage is not going to fix it. you got to fix it before you go into marriage because all you're going to do is just going to bring that baggage into a marriage and it's going to cause more complications in the marriage. Mm. So those are part of the expectation. But don't you think people. marriage should be... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not married, but yeah. I think the idea of marriage should be understanding your partner's baggage and dealing with it together. No, you, this is the understanding is different from dealing with it. Your, your partner should be able to deal with their baggages because if you don't deal with it personally, mm -hmm. it's going to affect the other person because the other person also do have their own baggage they're dealing with. All right. So when you have two people dealing with baggages, it, it becomes very pretty much burdensome. It feels like she has you know? something to say. Well, personally, for me, I just feel like she has gone through three marriages. At this point in her life, she can have meaningful relationships with men without it leading to marriage. to marriage. That's just how I feel. So this fear of marriage, I feel like it's also genuine when you... I'm trying to understand where she's coming from. I've not even done, done one, Seb. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Do you understand? Do you understand? So like... when you've been through marriage three times, I understand the fear that she has. And it has failed. I understand the fear. So, but I'm just like, it should not affect our relationships with the opposite sex. And she should realize that not every relationship has to end in marriage. So the fear and everything, she can just like leave marriage away from her psyche yeah. for now. So let me just quickly say this, right? Um, that qu the question, let me answer the question you did ask. This is it. People say marriage makes someone responsible. That is a fallacy. <laughs> if, you're, if you're irresponsible for marriage, you're going to be an irresponsible married person. Mm. True. Does marriage come with certain responsibilities? Yes. Does it make you responsible? No, yeah. there are many people who are married who are not responsible in their marriage. They're not even owning up to their responsibilities. So it, it, there's no magic, there's no ghost that takes over you once you're married. Whoever you are before marriage is who you're going to be in that marriage. So if the things she didn't work on before that marriage, um, you're not going to suddenly start working on those things in the marriage. I'm a slave queen before marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still be a slave queen after marriage.